Welcome back, Attack. I'm Skylet, and today we're playing Snow. That's right, we actually looked at this game a long time ago. I think this was actually technically on the MMO Attack channel, uh, which doesn't really exist anymore, uh, by the way. So, yeah, we're looking at Snow now because it's an open beta and a lot has changed. Now, when I first did my very first impression on this game, I've got 90 minutes total, okay? I got an hour and a half gameplay uh, way back when, and I haven't played it since because back then it was really awkward, right? Like, it was really buggy, there was really not too much to the game, a lot of features just simply weren't in the game, a lot of the physics were awkward, and the game would crash a lot, and basically, it was a true, true early access game. Uh, nowhere near polished, but now we're in open beta, so what am I expecting? I'm actually expecting a really good game. I popped in uh, a couple of months ago to see the updates, because a lot of people were really liking it and enjoying the game. And it wasn't just enthusiasts. I could totally see why a lot of people were just, you know, randomly having fun with the game because it was actually turning out to be pretty good, which is really awesome. A lot of early access games tend to not surprise us. And Snow, luckily, is one that did surprise us. It is actually maintaining uh, what it's aiming to do, and it's, you know, actually getting there. Uh, so right now, it's, 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 it's just skiing, I believe. It's supposed to be like a full snow sport, uh, sort of like MMO or like multiplayer online game, but right now it's just skiing. I bought it basically because I want to snowboard. I think snowboarding is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty enthusiastic about the game, even though it's just skiing right now. Uh, but let's go check out some of these settings and everything. Now, one thing that really got me hooked onto Snow and made me think that potentially it might be a good game later on was that the menus are really slick. Uh, I think the design of the game and how they sell, like how they're branding it, how they're selling it, just seems to be like a really minimalistic and a very sort of professional look. Like everything just like slides so nicely, man. Just look, look at this, okay? So I'm gonna go to the settings and then everything just kind of slides together, visuals. And then you, oh man, dude, just the menus themselves are just kind of sexy, dude. Just, just a little bit ground controls. And as you scroll through, it just, it's just like a, it's a really interesting experience from the menus onward. And I like it. And at the same time, it's kind of minimalistic. It looks really good. Now I'm going to be controlling with keyboard and mouse. I don't know if the controls are better on a controller. I could try that maybe later or halfway through the first impression, but I am going to try to do this game justice this time around because this is going to be sort of more on the long lines of like a review since this is our like second impression for the open beta. Um, but yeah, so a lot, a lot of stuff has gone into the game. So if you watched our first impression, my first impression, then, uh, Hopefully you will know where I'm coming from and what I'm expecting from this game. I'm expecting a lot of fun. All right, but before we get in, let's go check out me. Okay, we're going to check out me in the store because I know you guys saw the store on the front page here. Uh, basically, you can just purchase different gear and it's all really just aesthetic. I mean, it's just it's just aesthetic stuff. So this is what I got. You can customize all these different things from the skis to all the little. Yeah, everything. This is what you got. And there's a lot to customize, guys. So let's go to the store. I'll show you that. There's a lot to buy. I believe, I believe, nothing actually changes your gameplay. I think. So let's go to headwear, and then look at all the plethora of things that we can purchase here. You know, just to make your character look cool. And in an online game, that's what you do want. You want to look cool, you want to look how you want to look. You want to stylize your character, and this game gives you a plethora of ways to stylize your character for all peoples, for silly or not. I would actually like a little bit more uh, silly, probably. Uh, not too much though, nothing too drastic. But you know, there's definitely some jackass inspiration with that, uh, that helmet that we just saw right there. There's some bundles that you can purchase. Uh, there's also credits, which you use to buy in-game items. Now, I don't know if you can actually earn this in-game currency by playing. I don't know if you can earn these items. That is something that we're going to have to discover here. But it doesn't seem like anything gives you a statistical advantage. So it's just all cosmetic, which I think is really cool. Let's go check out the bundles real quick. Okay, so you get like bundles of skins. Actually, I really like orange. I think orange is cool, but it's a little bit too orange, you know what I'm saying? Oh well, my character looks pretty chill right now. Get it? Because we're playing a game called Snow. Anyways, uh, it says this is my first time playing, but I have 90 minutes in the game, but this is probably new. Actually, I don't remember a tutorial, so we should play the tutorial. Uh, oh, okay, I was about to say, is the tutorial just a text thing? Because that's pretty ugly. Uh, there are a lot of buttons. Rotate, WASD, left shift, ugh. I'm starting to think maybe it would be more comfortable with a controller. That's what I'm used to in these kind of games. Uh, back in the PlayStation era, I played a bunch of snowboarding games and I was really into it. Uh, growing up in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, uh, I didn't really have snow or anything. So it was really cool to play games and sort of like, you know, <laughs> do that, do snowboarding. Uh, yeah, in Myrtle Beach, you don't, you would never got snow, basically. Uh, definitely no hills either. So basic writing, turn left and right using A and D, W to move faster, you tuck, and to break, you hold S. And right now, it is just the skis I have no idea how good of a snowboarding game this is going to be, but from my first time playing the game, 
I know that even though it was still buggy and kind of shitty and wonky, uh, there was definitely potential. So now, let's see what we got here. This is running in the Cry Engine, so it's going to look great, it's going to play great. I mean, even when it crashed all the time back in way, way long ago, it still looked and ran pretty decent. So here we go. We press W, and then we tuck, and this is how we gain speed. I did not go through all the little cap things. And it's just basic controls, just basic controls. Now, the camera does have a lot of customization now. A lot of people might have an issue with the FOV of the camera or how it's all wibbly-wobbly. They did add controls for the camera. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, when I was going through the menus, but they did add those controls, which is one of my main complaints. Anyways, so let's just kind of chillax. Take it easy. Okay, so basic writing. I didn't actually complete the thing. But let's listen to the music real quick, guys. The music is, is it sounds really good. It's kind of like that whole chill step, like dubstepy. Uh, kind of sounds like Mount Eden. Actually, it sounds very similar to Mount Eden. Yeah. I don't know if you guys listen to that, to that group or not. Or is it a person? Anyways, kind of sounds like Blackmill as well. So Mount Eden slash Blackmill. Yeah, it's kind of got that going on. Anyway, so the control. Oh, the character's animated a little bit better now. Th things are running a little bit smoother. Before it was a lot, lot more awkward. Oh, I. <laughs> I forgot to break one time. I'm sorry. So it's really making sure that you know all the controls, which is really good. Not knowing all the controls in such a uh, in such an enthusiastic enthusiastic game. Uh, so the game is sort of supposed to be like a simulation kind of game. You're not going to be doing like ridiculous super tricks instantaneously or grinding off of every little thing. So let's break once. Okay, we broke once. Oh, oh, we almost messed messed up there. Anyways, the game is on ultra. By the way, guys, complete maxed out graphics, everything. It's running great, but I do have an, an enthusiast build here, so it should run great, especially in the cry engine. Just saying. But it seems to be running without a hitch. Okay, so jumping. You can jump, but everything is going to be... It's not... Okay, like, this game is to SSX uh, like Tony Hawk is to skate. Like, this is supposed to be, like, the more realistic and, dare I dare say, simulation. So jump, you hold, and release space. In the air, you can spin with AD. You can also flip with WS and roll with Q and E. Now, uh, back then, that was all you could do. You did like these really awkward jumps and turns and your character looked like really stiff. So let's see how it looks now and what, what kind of velocity or agility our character has. So let's perform a jump. So we're gonna go here and jump. And we do a three. Oh, that looks so much better. See, he actually tucks while he does that. Perform a basic, a basic grab. I actually did not read what a grab was. Okay, it was control, right? Okay, and then complete the course. Oh, whoa, I didn't want to flip. I didn't want to flip. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I did not want to flip. Okay, uh, right, um, let's see. Perform a grab by holding one of the fall. It says left, right, up, down, but you can grab by holding sh uh, control, which is actually, it didn't say that, but I intuitively, intuitively pressed control and that worked. So let's perform a 360. Can we perform a 360 grab? I actually let go of space late there and I'm glad that it punished me. So the game, you know, you have to actually be on your game here. So let's move a little bit faster. I don't wish there was a speed gauge, or is that it? No, that's a point gauge. Grab 360. Okay, we got both of those, and now we just complete the course. So if you're just holding W when you go over a jump, you will do a front flip. So you have to let go and kind of balance your character. So I do like that there is that little bit of balance. Ooh, the sound of, uh, uh, oh, we barely made it. The sound effects did kind of, that was a little bit weird. Um, it played like the same sound file of landing like uh, two fast in a row. I forget, I don't know what that's really called. It's it, I don't know. If you guys could have heard that, I'm I'm gonna balance it so you probably can't hear it. Want to equalize the audio, but uh, there was definitely some audio hitching there. And I am gonna be really critiquing the game this time around because it's our second first look, by the way, guys. But overall, I'm liking what I see. Advanced jumping. Uh, spin faster by loading up with space. Yeah, wait, where do you... And then tweak your grab with space again, so I can tweak my grab with space. Uh, various combinations of... It says left, right, up, down. But, uh... In the air, boost your spin speed with left shift. Hmm, okay. So there's some weird control schemes going on. I think I'm gonna have to customize it myself here. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so you can spin faster with shift. The animations, everything does look a lot smoother, a lot more natural, too. Okay, I like that. Okay, so what, what was the goal, anyways, of that? Enter. Perform a 720 with an advanced grab. Um, okay. Let us do that, then. So we do hold space, let go space, and shift, and wait, actually, what just happened? <laughs> I let go of space, but, uh... I didn't spin. I probably just miscalculated. 
Now, hold on. It wants me to do an advance with a grab, but if grab is control, maybe I can't use the mouse. Actually, I haven't used the mouse this whole time, so I think the game is meant for a controller. All right, so we're going to hold space, let go, and spin. Oh, that was a 360, so we need to do a 720. So we need to hold uh, left or right. Most likely, we're going to press A and left. Okay, so it's a little bit advanced, and it is a little bit complicated. So you don't use the mouse at all. I probably Can I actually use the mouse? Does it count as left and right? I don't know. Whatever, guys. A little bit awkward, just saying that, with the, with the keyboard. There. Wait, why? Oh, okay. So you gotta act, it's kind of weird, the control scheme, like my brain isn't quite working. So it is, it's mechanically my fault, I will admit it, but I'm gonna say that it's because the unintuitiveness of the keyboard. But you can get over that if you don't have a controller. I myself have a PS4 controller, Xbox controller, Steam controller. I got a freaking ton of controllers I can choose from, so I won't be using keyboard for this. So let's do a seven. Just freaking kidding. Okay. Just kidding. We need to be much faster to the draw there. It's pretty, the tutorial, man. It's giving us some trouble, which could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing, depending on how you're looking at it. The game does have some finesse. It does have some intricacies, but it's also got some awkwardness. Okay, we're moving as fast as we can. And right here. 3720. There we go. The best. That was the best we had. Did does that not count with an advanced grab? Is that an advanced grab? Uh, let's read again. Advanced grab. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. Oh, I needed to tweak it with space while in the air. So I need to do all that and then also tweak it, you know, do a little extra by pressing space once again. Gee, bus. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Tweak it. Hmm. I wonder why sometimes I'm going faster, sometimes I'm not. And yes, guys, this is going to be a longer video. We're really digging into this. So just chillax and have some fun, man. Holding space. Oh, huh, space Space actually didn't tweak my grab. So I'm a little bit confused. I am holding A to turn left. And I'm holding right. Okay, uh, advanced grabs are performed by holding various combinations of left, right, up, down. Oh, okay. So it wants, so maybe I'll press left and up on the arrow keys which is simulating the buttons on a controller. Uh, there we go. And that's a 720, that's a 540. We did not do a 720. <laughs> okay, so I'm still confused. I think you gotta, you gotta jump at the very end of that. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys didn't just see, you guys did not just see that. Okay, let's get as much speed as possible. As much as possible. Go off of this. Come on. Dude, I can scream in C-Man. Okay, I cannot get enough speed. Maybe if I j okay, maybe I press up over and over again. Actually, that was a glitch that you could do. You could instead of holding up, you could just press up over and over again, and you would just get like infinite speed, man. Okay, you can't do that anymore. All right, let's let's do let's jump at the very end. I didn't even I didn't even jump at all. So awkward, dude. What have we spent like eight minutes on this? <laughs> oh man. Mainly in part just learning to the controls. Okay. We took too long to spin. Can we start? We can't start spinning before we get off the thing, can we? I mean, that would be kind of realistic, right? Like, you don't just start spinning mid-air in, in real life. You have to start the momentum of the spin before you lift off. So, I guess, you know, that's what we gotta do. If the game makes me do that, then the game makes me do that. But that's kind of cool, actually. There. That's it. That's it. There we go. Okay, so you do have to start spinning before you actually launch. Um, yeah, definitely, though. If you're trying to use the keyboard, your mind is more concentrated on the keyboard controls than actually playing the game. So when you start this game, do not use the keyboard controls. Uh, probably. I'm, I'm thinking most likely. It's just pretty awkward. And I crap. Oh, I want... Dude. Oh, yeah. And there's a, there's a rewind, which is pretty cool. I did like this. No, 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 continue, continue, continue from here. That is a pretty cool feature because you will be crashing a lot. The game is not easy. Grinding, uh, you can spin on the rail with A and D. So this is pretty easy. You just get to it, jump, and you just kind of, that's it. Woo, awesome, we're so cool. The game is kind of forgiving in some ways, but way less forgiving than pretty much any other game. Yeah, like I said, the comparison to skate is real. It's just like a more down to earth, snowboarding experience 
It's definitely kind of a, it's got some difficulty, but I think it's it's got this like really it's got, it's got the right atmosphere, man. It really does. Okay, so we need to grind all the different features. We cannot fail this, guys. Ready? Let's do this. Uh, that doesn't count as a grind. Uh, yep, it does. It does. It does. And go here. Tutorial is real. And <laughs> okay, well that just happened. Anyways, we failed to grind that. I'm actually trying to look. Oh wait, what was that? Was that a flashlight? Oh, F is for flashlight. We'll fly, Adrian. Oh, I didn't even know it said that uh, the artist there. Oh, we actually wait. Did that actually count. We actually that actually counted. Congratulations! Now you know how to ski. Barely, honestly, honestly, the game is uh, it gets pretty hard. Complete the course. All right, let's do it. Let's. Uh, <laughs> now I'm making it look really awkward, but uh, trust me, when you get on some of these slopes, like the first slope they had in the early access was so difficult. All right, let's go have some fun. This one looks like a pretty easygoing um area, though. What just happened? Did I crash somehow? I think I tried to grab and grind at the same time. <laughs> Which is a bad thing. Your finger's gonna get smushed, bruh. Alright, let's go down that same area here. See, the game looks pretty good, though. So let's actually take it off this big jump here. Heck yeah, guys. Epicosity. Let's do a trick jump. Let's do something big and, and different. Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool, cool. End session. In free roam, you can convert your score into XP at end sessions. Points scattered all across the mountain. When you're near one, you can save your XP by holding U. The tutorial is now complete. Enter. Now, even though I was really harsh with my very first impressions, it's only because I was so enthusiastic about the game. I'm really hyped. I love the concept. Actually, I literally found the concept of this game and just bought it instantaneously. That's That was it. Anyways, end session, you. Right here. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at my guys just like chilling. Um, so the mouse controls the camera, which isn't totally necessary. Oh, you can actually, whoa, you can scroll way out. Anyways, rewind. Uh, enter if you crash, you can rewind. Enters to rewind, pause menu. Oh dude, you can actually go crazy with the camera. You can probably make some really awesome videos with this. Maybe I should do that. Anyway, so we can press uh, escape, select drop point, quick restart options, and we can just exit. So we'll go exit here, and we will go to go to the main menu. Exiting. Okay, so whenever we play, um, you hit play, and it's gonna. I'll show you the different uh, slopes and everything. There's the. Wait, no, I didn't want to go to the characters. What? Did I accidentally click on the characters? No, I wanted to go to the play, and then here we go. Okay, so we have free roams. Oh, uh, it's gonna tell us game modes. While enjoying free roam, you can also complete challenges and events. So free roam is kind of like this open uh, mountain, I believe. Now there's multiplayer as well, which we won't be actually doing today. But there's challenges and there's specific events. So I can go to the event. There's time trial, descent, slope style. Slope style is like my least favorite, but it's like the most competitive. We got big air, which is probably my favorite. Free ride, freestyle, and rail jam, which is pretty cool. And then we have free roam here. So we have a couple of different areas. Uh, before we only had like one side of a single mountain, but now it looks like we have some very interesting areas. And of course, you're gonna have a lot of bunch of sp sponsorships uh, with this game here, which is totally fine. It's part of the atmosphere, so we can just go to the entire mountain now. That's pretty cool, yeah. Because before, uh, it, you didn't really get to explore the entire mountain. You only could go like a very specific like side of the mountain. Um, but now it looks like we have so much more to go on. Uh, you have the south face of the mountain. And we have the east face of the mountain, we have the west face of the mountain, and I'm sure they're going to add more and more, and of course, multiple mountains, and who freaking knows? But, uh, wow, there's just there's just a lot of content now. Significantly more content than ever before. Alright, so let's go, we have a couple of different areas. Let's go with this. Drop point unlocking. Ski lift drop points are unlocked by default. Black back country drop points are unlocked by riding to the- So, so okay, I see. So the areas that are accessible, like, I mean, this kind of makes sense realistically. Some places are only available via helicopter. Uh, some places you have to actually ride there first and then others you drop there. Okay, makes sense. So here we are. Let's go ski guys. Let's go have some fun. I think we'd hit this first ground right here. 
You think this is gonna happen? Nah, we were way off. We didn't have a great start there. All right, no, but we got this next one though. We got this next one, right guys? All right, the camera angles do make it kind of hard to line up with some things though. Got that grind, it was kind of sick. Now as you can see, gravity is pretty, uh, it's pretty easy. Like you, you kind of fall gently. You kind of fall gently. Oh, that was kind of, that was kind of nice, but we landed sideways, so that wasn't that great. Now this is slow down, that's kind of a warning there. Probably a more dangerous area. The game is looking really good though. I am excited for the future. Snowboards and who freaking knows what else? Maybe snowmobiles? Don't don't quote me on that. Uh, but I'm really excited for different kind of vehicles or um, what vehicles in motion, you know, like snowboards, stuff like that. Just do a little spin, just hanging out. And this seems like the like a kind of chill game that you can just play with your friends, you know, like just chill out literally uh, and play with your friends. Uh, maybe we can do a big trick here. So let's try that. The answer is no, we should not. Good thing we didn't try to do a front flip like I planned initially and then change my mind at the last second because we didn't have speed. It says slow down, but I don't think so, man. Get this grind, maybe? Oh, just kidding. We almost we almost planted hard right there. But yeah, overall, the game kind of feels a little bit more slow paced, a little bit more chill, a little bit more forget. Like, I don't know, like the way you fall is just real gentle and I think that's just because maybe I'm on some starter areas. It's probably, I know it does get way more difficult because I've already played some very, very difficult uh, areas that they had in the very beginning. And it was more so difficult too because the controls and animations and physics were still wonky. Uh, but now overall the physics just seems kind of slower paced. So in the beginning and in this first impression, you might see that uh, the game seems a little bit dull and slower, especially compared to some of the more ridiculous um, snowboarding games out there. But snow is definitely shaping up to be actually really good. And when you get to the more difficult areas, it really does get really fast, really hectic, really crazy. Like lots of rocks and, and craziness. Actually, can I show, if I actually look over there, like you ski stuff like that in the later, more complicated levels and like over there. In fact, you probably can ski that area right there because we do, all the, all the areas are interconnected. Like you do ski on the same mountain. So we're going here and it looks like this is a checkpoint. So let's do a, uh, we're getting some speed. Let's do a front flip. Let's do a front flip here. Ah, uh, see, did you get, did you get, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so there's still a little bit of awkwardness. And if you guys heard the audio, it was kind of clippy and, I don't know, crunchy and weird. So it's still, it's still, you know, not completely finished, but it's looking significantly more polished than before. In fact, so much so that I'm, I'm just really excited. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Skyline Shore with Attack Gaming, and I'll see you again next time. Welcome back Attack, and today we're going to be talking about 2016's best MMORPGs. These are going to be the new MMO games that we get to experience, at least in the West. Yes, yeah, some of these games are going to be localized titles, but for the most part, these are going to be entirely new MMOs, so get hyped for that. And these are going to be the games that we are almost certain will actually launch in 2016. But with that in mind, let's go ahead, jump right into it, starting at number 10.